Hola, it's Kadira. Welcome back to Spanish Comigo. Welcome back to my channel. Valley. Okay, let's talk Spanish. Hablamos. Let's talk weird words in Spanish. Hi, guys. Imagine what? Kadira is giving me away for free. And the only thing that you have to do is to subscribe, like the video, share it. And as soon as we get 1,000 followers, you're going to get a one-on-one -on -one class with me. So, let's do this words that drive me crazy because you know it's so hard to learn this stuff and then you hear it in the real world and then it'd be like where did that come from where did that come from it doesn't even sound right so so one of the things that used to drive me crazy is sobre vivir because i see it in a lot of movies or seeing stuff and i'm like and i understand even when i understand what they're trying to say it still don't feel right that this is so what be beard it's about to live what why am i saying about to live what the what 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 the palabra <laughs> so talk to me <laughs> it is like sobrevivir to survive i say but baby you can hear like that uh, about living you know but it's okay so it is weird but it's more common than the other one, you know? For example, we have one that is completely different. But is... seriously, where did that, seriously, don't you see what I'm seeing about to live? Don't you see that? I don't see it. Sobre vivir, about to live. I know, if you divide the word, and when you hear it, you could hear it. But when I see the word, for me, it's, Right when I say it, you know. So you're saying this word was never separated. You are saying this word was always so. In, in this context, no. It's just fine. <laughs> it just means fine. Whatever. Whatever. Hey. Anyway. We so have this crazy one. Sobre you know, eso. Just, uh, sobre eso. Exactly. Sobre eso. But uh -huh. what if I tell you? Pásame el sobre. Yes, like, an envelope. Yes, it's now an envelope. envelope. Sí, pero el sobre sobre la mesa. <laughs> Can you About understand what I mean? The envelope on the table? Or the <laughs> yeah. Can you see how weird it could be when you first hear yes, it? Yes, I can see how weird it could be. Especially, yeah, at the, especially okay, and you know for us... It, we find out sobre means about. That's the first definition for us, English speakers, about. If I'm going to sit there and say, um, quiero decir, decir de sobre mi casa. I need to tell you about my house. Right? And then that's the first thing we learn. What do you mean sobre en la, la mesa? What do you mean about it? That's what about it feels and the first thing that you like, hear is I feel like you're over. making me mentally skip when you say about yeah. in the in the, yeah. in, the, in, the in the in the table. If you just know, if you just know that sobre means about, if and mm -hmm. I tell you, put mi teléfono sobre la mesa, you're gonna think about put the phones about the table. This yes. is yes. where you're gonna get the you know hit yes. in the brain. Mm -hmm. It happens. It happens. So sobre means about, sobre means envelope, and sobre means on. On, exactly. Just on. Just and on. That, which means we got to basically think about the last word. So if the last word is mess up, means, uh, last word is, they want me to put something on the table. But if the last word is casa or car or something like that, maybe they just tell me something about that thing. It's about. But yeah, that exactly. what was that sentence sobre and sobre un mesa? What was that crazy thing you said? Un sobre, sobre la mesa, sobre. Oh. Put it in the Pero chat. Me. Put it in the chat. And we're gonna we'll drive ourselves crazy about that. Un it's sobre, like an unnecessary tongue sobre twister for the brain. La mesa. Oh. Sobre crazy. mis deuda. Un sobre. Sobre la mesa. Sobre mis du deuda. So, so an envelope on the table about my doubts. Uh -huh. 
or my debts. Is that doubts? De my debts. debts. Yes. Not that. My not debts. That. Debts. debts. Yeah, debts. Do that is doubts. Deal with yeah. debts. Aha. So, yeah, 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 yeah. What can I say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hala. That is crazy. Ojalá, ojalá it could be the synonym of uh, tal vez, mm -hmm. o quizá, you know, this is a hope, but mm -hmm. when you say the word, it couldn't be maybe, because maybe they consider tal vez, mm -hmm. it could be perhaps, because perhaps it's considered the same, you know, tal vez quizá. So, so you mean, ojalá is the same as quizás? Sí. Okay, guys, I feel like I just had mind blown. So, I, you know, don't feel bad if you're sitting there listening to someone in Spanish and you still don't know what they're talking about. You know, be like, what? I thought I understood Spanish. I have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> okay, so does that I mean, mean okay? You say, venga, hola, it's more when you expect a yes. Okay. In English class, you don't expect that yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, I got okay. to feel. Okay. But ojalá is when you expect a yes. But it doesn't have a translation. It's just a hope, you know? It's just a hope. Okay. Ojalá puedo birthday in el futuro. Pueda. 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 Right. So, ojalá so, pueda verte en el futuro. Exacto. Okay. Ojo. Ojo. This is not I. You know, this is not this one, but actually it is, let's say, a little bit relate, re, related to, because you say like, hey. It, it, it's almost like oh, a minute. Look, look. Uh, look, exactly, exactly. Look, you, maybe mira. the first word that you learn is that ojo is I, and imagine right. that you are on the streets and you see a post and it says, ojo, right. no estacionar aquí. And you get like, yes. I do no part here why spanish speaker would say like i this it is not that yes, yes. just and you just say like it, this is just to catch attention you know when right. it says ojo look at it that is yes mm -hmm. this one is so and with this expression is actually it is used to say that that is not something supernatural you know it is not something new and what you are doing or saying oh so all right, cause I, cause I, at first I see nothing of the other world, so I'm thinking that I will only use this if I'm talking about ghosts or um, souls or calling someone a witch or something like that. But you're saying it's not that at all. No, no, not that at all. You know, it's like, for example, for example, imagine that there is someone with that attitude. You know, and one person tells me like, oh. I live in, I don't know, Germany. Right. You can get a ticket and go to Germany. It right. is something supernatural. You know, if oh, the person okay. comes with a little aptitude like that, I would say, like, si, no es nada del otro mundo. Nada del otro mundo. So, okay. So, so, right. Because people like, I have, um, some people like, I got a fancy car, right? Like, it, doesn't mean anything to me. Not that they out the mundo. I could, you know, I could get this car too if I wanted it. It's not a big deal, you know. You're not the Joneses exactly. to me. No, it's not All right. mundo. To say that there, there is not something that difficult or that big, you know, which you know, which is something from another world. Huh? <laughs> it is not a wish. It is just something that you can get. Okay. Well, guys, we basically we want to take a minute because and talk about it right because we always talk about the rules of spanish but now we're trying to communicate right with someone who is in their native tongue and when and when you get into someone's native tongue you get to hear different vernacular and be like what you know what does that mean when you be so busy mean what did he just say you might you just miss the rest of it so anyway Guys, you know we love you guys. Te amo, te amo, te amo, te amo. Realmente, okay? So you know we're doing lives every Saturday and Sunday unless the internet is down, right? Saturdays in YouTube and Sunday in Instagram. And you follow us there. Me, Spanish Cabigo, and Jose Connecting.us.
We love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little thing. Weird, weird words in Spanish. That was the topic of the day. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you so much. Besos y abrazos.